welcome back. David Neidegger, board chair for Oceanside Community Foundation, is here with information on their next round of granting for nonprofits. Thank awesome. You. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, the uh, Oceanside Foundation has been around since 2009. Yeah. So it's been 15 years. 15 oh, years. Fast. Yeah. yeah. And, and you were there at the beginning. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we helped start it. And uh, I'm really proud of the fact this year we have granted more than a million dollars back to the Oceanside community. Wow. Wow. And that's really key because we really focus on Oceanside. Yeah. And and uh, it's a it's a great it's a great group. It really is. So tell us um, what that process looks like um, as far as your granting. It's an exactly. annual program. It's an that annual you program. Do. We have a committee, um, and we sit down and decide what we're going to be changing our focus from year to year. Okay. Um, th this year we're going to be focusing on uh, d development for 60 to 25 year olds and, 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 and how they can get back into the community or mm -hmm. those kinds of yeah. learning kinds and, of things and life skills right right yeah okay. and the oceanside uh, charitable foundation the the will accept the, the uh, applications and we get probably anywhere from 40 to 50 of them mm -hmm. and, and then we have a grants committee that sits back and reviews them all and we mm -hmm. uh have a, a, a great conversation over <laughs> what we should be doing and sure. we narrow it down to we get about 10 or so eight to ten mm. uh, finalists and then we go out and do site visits okay. and we actually uh, members of the committee go and uh, we look at the property or what they're doing and and talk to yeah. the the primaries involved and then we come back and and then we ask our board of directors send out and uh, they all rank everybody that they would like to mm -hmm. give to and that's how we come up with our finalists and Great. very proud that KOCT last year was one of our grants we gave you guys some money Absolutely. to help in the, the yeah. last year the, the uh, development was uh, suicide prevention yeah. and you're going to be doing some programs I know soon on that and I'm really, really we're glad to want to see that too. We so are too. You. We're excited to Good. work on that project Good. with you Good. all. Good. Absolutely. So when people submit grant proposals, it can be really anything. It just has to follow with that theme. With that, with that what we're discussing, yes. Right. Like, like I said last year, it was it was um, suicide prevention. Yeah. Uh, this year, it's making. Uh, I'm sorry, trying to reach the younger, uh, mm -hmm. 16 to 25 year olds, uh, mm -hmm. and how they can better prepare themselves with a lot of life's challenges. Yeah, yeah so and maybe even employment. Ex oh, exactly. Skills, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. So um, this year you gave out $92,000 right. in grants. So mm -hmm. you're expecting to do that in the next round. Well, sure. Looking forward to it. Yes, yeah. it depends upon, uh, you know, we have a, it's membership. And we have, uh, I think we have about 40 or 5 members or so now. And, and everyone donates throughout the years. And it's a good uh, good program. We build up, we have a, a grant, the matching grant with the McLaughlin Foundation. Mm -hmm. And so they help us out a little bit too to, to make sure, you know, when we get down to that, <laughs> the fun thing is that last day or so when we're trying to find who's going to get this and who's going to get that, yeah. and everyone's lobbying for their their their, their group, right. and so it's uh, it, it's fun. It's really good and it's very enjoyable. And the the amazing work that people are doing in this community that we don't know about Absolutely. is phenomenal. Absolutely, the nonprofits are right. really remarkable in this community. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So, if somebody would want to join the Oceanside Community Foundation and help support um, the granting of nonprofits, go to our website, Oceanside. Them. Yeah, the Oceanside yeah. Shovel Foundation .com, and that would be a good way to get started. Okay. And if not, um, well, I, I, I said call me, but maybe I don't want to. Do that, so. <laughs> Well, you have you have the membership meetings, Ab absolutely, right? and absolutely, events where people can come and meet you all and in learn fact, we're more having about a, what you do. We're having an event uh, pretty soon uh, in October yeah. uh, for membership. So uh, okay. they've a great opportunity to come down and find out what we're doing. We uh, chat with people and get some of our past uh, folks that have been given the grants, and they come back and, and t tell us what they do um, and how they use that and uh, that that kind of thing. It's fun. Yeah. It's very 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 rewarding. Absolutely, and so it's part of um, a larger group, the San Diego. San Diego, um, we're affiliate of the San Diego Charitable Foundation, okay. and uh, I'm not sure, but I think there's about ten or twelve in the county, different cities mm -hmm. and groups that are, that are also a part of that affiliate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for starting this amazing sure. asset in our community, supporting nonprofits. Um, it was a pleasure to talk with you today. Thank you very much, and thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> watching.
KOCT Television in Oceanside.